We are happy to bring you the first devlog after Gloria Victus 1.0 launch. After the very busy first months after launch, we would like to summarize the changes that have been introduced in the last weeks, and what is even more thrilling, give you some insight into the features we are currently working on. Be sure to leave a like and comment under the video to share with us how you feel about the recent changes. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos like this one. Now, let's jump into the devlog. First of all, we would like to welcome you to the new glory season that started April 13th. We hope that the changes brought this season will be to your liking, and we can't wait to see how these changes will influence gameplay this season. And I'm doing it in 3, 2, 1, now. The world of Gloria Victus has become inhabited by a new and unique werewolf boss. This legendary creature is a real challenge to fight against, so gather your guilds and face the might of this mysterious creature. Killing the werewolf is no easy task, but the unique and precious rewards await those who dare to battle the beast and kill it. But make no mistake, as the bite of the werewolf can haunt you even after the beast is defeated, and only one man in Stoneholm knows the cure. Valley of Death Tournament has received a new and thrilling siege game mode. This new mode features a unique map that will become a place of massive sieges, glorious victories, and noteworthy encounters. Show your flashy combat moves, or become the strategic genius leading your nation to victory. Use the new siege ladders to swiftly capture the walls or use trebuchets to tear down the buildings and walls as there is an entire city to burn. In the past weeks, we also introduced a new type of quest boards connected with crafting. The quests they provide are grouped into different categories and tiers. You can find them in both the non-loot zone and in the loot zone, making them a great way to level up your crafting skills and earn great rewards. Last week we added nearly a hundred new lore fragments connected to the Siege of Edring and the caravan trapped in the Caravanserai amidst the Azebian deserts, the scenarios from Gloria Victus Siege Survival. The fragments are grouped into nine lore collections that can be found across the map, with each collection being placed in a specific region of the map. Mount up and ride out to find them all and earn unique titles. Based on the data we gathered and our internal tests, we were able to make some adjustments to the controller. The improvements should make fighting more satisfying, with less body blocking and a better feeling for shorter weapons. We also applied some changes to certain weapons that should improve the overall balance on the battlefield. We have decided, based on our data and the feedback of our community, to make the two-handed spears and great spears longer. We also shortened the halberd and decreased its damage modifier from side attacks. These changes should improve the variety of weapons used in combat as well as make their balance much better. Shortening the halberd and increasing the length of spears will make them a viable alternative for the halberd, breaking its domination as the weapon of choice for players wanting the highest range. Our artists and level designers are hard at work to bring some more graphical enhancements that will improve the overall visuals of the game. We implemented a big batch of remodeled trees to the game as well as improvements to the visuals of the wooden fences and other small props. The new trees have more variants than before, making the forests around the world of Gloria Victus look more unique and varied. While you are listening to this devlog, our team is already working on further graphical improvements, including more foliage models, dust particles, and buildings rework that will make the world of Gloria Victus beautiful like never before. Last, but not least, we would like to share with you some work in progress insight into the features we are currently working on. We are working on new locations and events that will become new, more challenging dungeons and PvE events. We want these events to be more strategic and require certain build types or activities to be done in order to complete them. Next thing we are currently working on is a new feature of carrying objects. You can already carry stones to throw down on the attackers. And we can see many further applications of this feature in the game, from carrying banners and oil pots, to implementing trade runs and a more intricate logistics system for the bastions. With the introduction of the Valley of Death Siege mode, we have started the process of testing some of the features that we want to implement to the open world sieges. We want the sieges to become more fun and challenging for both sides, thus we are working on bringing more meaning to separate buildings in each of the locations. 
We also plan on bringing in more destructible buildings and environment to make the sieging experience more immersive. That's all we have prepared for you today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next devlog.